so very warm welcome once again uh, to my channel today i will be talking about today a very handy function which is called uh, the forecast function and i will try to demonstrate how we can predict the values based on an existing data by using the forecast linear function and later on i will also be trying to explain how we can add trend lines using trend function or a trend line uh, function uh, to predict the values uh, in the forward direction and also in the backward direction as you can see on the screen i will be demonstrating here uh, the prediction of an existing data which is an average annual price of fuel in euros so the blue one is the actual data and by using the forecast function uh, we will be uh, predicting uh, the future values so we have a data available from about uh, year 2000 till 2021 which is this one actual here and we will now simply try to predict the future values by using the forecast function before we really go into the data some details I would like to share with you guys so how this forecast function works and it calculates the future values well the forecast function in, in WPS uh, spreadsheet it calculates the future y values using the linear regression equation and it's a simple very well known equation you know this y equals to a plus bx while a is your constant or you can even call it as an intercept and b is the coefficient so it's the slope right so b and we have already shown here you can see the the formulas or the equations uh, for both the constants or coefficients the values of x and y bars are the sample or means or the average of your known x values and y values which will be in our case also the actual data and the format how it works in WPS spreadsheet is uh, you simply write it in your formula bar the function forecast you will give the x value the current value where you wanted to calculate uh, your future values based on your existing data that will be the known y values and the known x values and then you will calculate or predict the future value by using the existing values so now let's uh, simply dive into the actual data and see uh, how it really looks like as mentioned earlier as i have shown you before the plot so it's an average annual price uh, of fuel in euros per liter so I have two columns, year and price in euros. So the column A is showing the number of years for the actual data available. Uh, and on the right side in the B column, you will be seeing um, the corresponding prices against the, the year. So the annual prices. So I have marked uh, the B column with actual data available with prices uh, with, a, with, a, with a blue filled rows and the one which we will be predicting uh, is uh, with like orange color so as i have mentioned we'll go once again here so that's our formula forecast okay so we go here and this is our x value 2021 so against that we wanted to get a future predicted value so let's we will start uh, with forecast so you click here forecast and you see WPS is automatically pointing you to X value so our X value will be 2022 because we have a data available till 2021 so we will start with 2022 then I will press comma now it's asking for the known Y values so the known Y values which I have is uh, from is starting from B3 and it goes till B24 right another important thing here to make sure that we will add a dollar sign because we want these values to be fixed because in future we will be also predicting for other years the values based on the current data so that at least we can have the same number of data sets for the actual data available now I have given the Y values I will press again comma I will come to the known X values so the known X values are A3 column from column A uh, row A3 till row A24 yeah 
once again don't forget to add the dollar sign so that you will fix the data values at least the column or the rows we don't want to change them because I will show you uh, quite soon so this is our first value predicted value now what you will do is you just drag this handle downwards and you will get all the values till 2030 and so on I mean even I can continue I can add more number of years and I will get the values over there so this the advantage of using the dollar sign is that every each and every time our actual data the entry uh, re entry values for our actual data remains always the same so then the number of rows will not change if I will not add the dollar sign here uh, and instead of not adding dollar sign here and once I, I will calculate the value for this current row it will be okay there will be no problem and I will once I will move I drag the handle and move to the next row for the future prediction of against this x value what will happen is that if we don't have any dollar sign so my number of rows will simply shift one cell downwards which is uh, which is wrong in our case because we have our actual data which is available that is still a24 and b24 so row number 24 and from row 25 onwards we wanted to predict our values which we have already done now successfully so we have our data available now let's plot the data so I will try to plot a scatter data let's take uh, this format so you just right click here and say select data uh, first of all I will create a series which will be called actual data and I will kill, select the x values which in this case will be till 2021 the actual values and the y values are from 2000 again once again to 2021 yeah once you will press ok we will see our data is showing here the formatting we will do uh, soon once I will finish so I will add another data series which will be called as forecast data right so now we will start again from 2000 and since it we will take on from the last actual value till the predicted value so that uh, the plot really connects we will start with this one and I will give again the y value that will be our forecasted value right So that's it. See, it really looks really good, and it is similar to the one which I have shown at the start of the video, which is this plot, right? <clears throat> so now, if you want, we can do some formatting, like uh, we can do Excel options and uh, other. Uh, we can start, uh, for example, from. 0.8 in terms of euros and the number of years I could also as we have the data available from 2000 to 2030 so we could simply go there and then and the rest of the stuff we can also add like uh, you you simply click here and then you, you can add some uh, text in it right so and then the rest of the stuff is really quite easy it's, uh, it's like standard stuff which we can even do that you can also add an extra access title if you want you can add a chart title so you can say it's a average annual price in euros per liter yeah. and we go there move some little bit slightly you can also add some more grids inside if you want so instead of having this you could even say number two so we'll be having more grids so and, and then 
even also in order to add uh, some more diversity in that and look much more explainable and sometimes uh, it's quite handy uh, in order to predict based on the current data let's say we have this available this data and i wanted to see how the trend looks like uh, for the backward values which i have no data available and also for the future predictions similarly for this curve too <coughs> we can add um, a trend line so either you just select your data and add a trend line either you go there or you can also even uh, go to the chart tools and add also trend line from here linear exponential linear forecast uh, there are also several options if you click more options you will see there are lots of options available here and for example if you go for a moving average it will predict very nicely but the disadvantage of moving average is that you can't forecast the forward and uh, the downward like the down uh, move down values so if we choose another one like power function it's, it's once again based on a kind of linear stuff we have a logarithmic approach we have the linear one which is the one we have just used here is the linear function if we use exponential we can also get some some really um, similar trends or predictions so you can add even more uh, number of polynomials uh, similarly also for the logarithmics and exponentials so the the point here is to show that uh, once you have a forecast function available you can also add or use another function which is called the trend line function or the trend function to uh, forecast the data so we can even uh, let's say i would wanted to predict now some forward values based on our linear or exponential stuff so i could even say i wanted to add for next two periods so if i say now it's like two so once i press enter so you will see for the next uh, next years 2022 and 2023 it's giving me the data set the trend function uh, you can also uh, you can also add uh, you can also add the equation on the chart so this is the equation and you can also set an intercept if you want yeah so it's also a handy function for example if you're using some other moving average or something like this uh, or power function and then you can have this one if you are wanted to add linear function so you will get uh, you will get your equations related equations i would say based on the data you have or the lines which we, you will be choosing and this is a polynomial equation of six degree i can reduce that and you will see it will it will keep on changing it's uh, really quite handy similarly if you use a logarithmic trend function you will get the logarithmic equation too and linear i've already shown you the exponential stuff so this, these are the two functions which I would like to share with you guys and um, just give me your feedback in the, in the comment section if you find it really useful and if you have any other any other tips or tricks want me to do or you are interested in doing me some other um, interesting stuff uh, then please uh, do give me uh, your choice uh, and your feedback. I will try my best to uh, also come up with mm, nice, uh, interesting, uh, more informative um, tips and tricks videos uh, regarding WPS Office. So take care, have a nice day and that's it from my side. Bye bye.